you have two options for manually creating a calendar event. Let's take a look. You can either double click the date for the event, or you can select New Event. When creating a new event, the title, start date, and end date are required fields. You also have the option to set a start and end time. Select No End Time or select All Day Event. Next, choose the appropriate category from the drop down list. Event categories will color code the event on the calendar, making it easier for the end user to find the event. Use the Recurrence and Registration tabs to create a recurring or registered event. Please refer to the respective tutorials for creating recurring or registered events. On the Location tab, you can add the location name and the address of the event. On the Contacts tab, you can link to a website that contains additional event information and add a contact name and information. Note that the contact name and email fields are required if you are adding a registered event. Use the Post to Calendars tab to submit a request to post your event to other calendars. By default, all website visitors can view this event. Use the Viewers tab to limit the visibility of the event to specific users or groups. When you are finished, select Save. And that's manually adding a calendar event. Thanks for watching.